Why do the gods torment me with such reckless, destructive, blasphemous sons? Father, hear what Be I... Be still! Pharaoh speaks. I seek to build an empire, and your only thought is to amuse yourselves by tearing it down. Have I taught you nothing? You mustn't be so hard on yourself, Your Majesty. You're an excellent teacher. It's not your fault your sons learned nothing. Well, they learned blasphemy. True. Father, the fault is mine. I goaded Ramesses on, and so I am responsible. Hmm. Responsible. And do you know the meaning of that word, Ramesses? I understand, Father. And do you understand the task for which your birth has destined you? The ancient traditions. When I pass into the next world, then you will be the morning and evening star. One damaged temple does not destroy centuries of tradition. But one weak link can break the chain of a mighty dynasty. <sighs> you have my leave to go. Father, Father, you know it was really my fault. Must you be so hard on him? Moses, you will never have to carry a burden like the crown I will pass to Ramesses. He must not allow himself to be led astray. Not even by you, my son. All he cares about is... is your approval. I know he will live up to your expectations. He only needs the opportunity. Maybe. Maybe so. Go now. I shall see you both tonight. Well, that went well. Just go away. Could have been worse. The weak link in the chain. That's what he called me. Well, you are rather pathetic. Irresponsible, ignorant of the traditions. He practically accused me of bringing down the dynasty. Yeah, I can see it now. There go the pyramids. <laughs> you can laugh about it. Statues cracking and toppling over, the Nile drying up. Single-handedly, you will manage to bring the greatest kingdom on earth to ruin. Tell me this, Moses, tell me this. Why is it that every time you start something, I'm the one who ends up in trouble? Ramesses, you're in trouble, Ramesses, young man. Ramesses, get down here. I think you owe us an apology. Oh, my <laughs> new thing. I am so upset. You might as well. We're going to tell the Pharaoh. I figured it out. You know what your problem is, Ramesses? What? You care too much. And your problem is you don't care at all. Oh, in that case, I suppose you care a lot more than I do that we're late for the banquet, for example? I'm done for. Father will kill me. Don't worry. Nobody will even notice us coming in. Nobody will even notice. <laughs> ah, the young princes. Ramesses, you were just named Prince Regent. You are now responsible for overseeing all the temples. I suggest you get over there and thank your father. Apparently, Moses, someone thought he just needed the opportunity. My Lord Pharaoh, I propose that the high priests offer tribute to their new regent. An excellent idea. Hold it, hoi! Hoi. Hmm? The Midian girl. That's a good idea. Go get her. By the power of Ra, we present for your delectation and delight an exotic apparition stolen from faraway land. Uh. 
We offer you this delicate desert flower. Let us inspect this desert flower. More like a desert cobra. <laughs> Not much of a snake charmer, are you? That's why I give her to you. No, no, no. That's generous, but... I won't be given to anyone. Especially an arrogant, pampered palace brat. <laughs> are you going to let her talk to you like that? <laughs> you will show the proper respect for a prince of Egypt. But I am showing you all the respect you deserve. None! No! Wait! Be still! Untie this rope! Man, you set me free! Be still! Let me go! As you wish. <laughs> you there! Have her dried up and sent to Prince Moses' chambers. If it pleases you, Father, my first act as regent is to appoint Moses as Royal Chief Architect.